I want to state that I support this motion entirely without uh, putting or proposing to put a comma or full stop on any ground that has been placed, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I want to remind the Honorable Members that uh, Clinton, Clinton was almost impeached or the impeachment attempt against Clinton in 1998 was out of the Monica Lewinsky Read your, uh, history, read your history properly. He was actually impeached. Exactly. Monica Lewinsky matter. Of course, it was overturned later by the courts and other issues, but I'm saying it was out of that scandal, the very small scandal of uh, the sexual scandal in, uh, in, uh, in, in uh, White House. Honorable Speaker, I want first to start by proposing this question, Honorable Speaker, to Honorable Members. How would you feel? that when you eventually transit to the next world, you are dead, that your brother or the person that you choose to entrust to take care of your wife and your children's property decides to start using those property for his own personal use as members. How would you feel that? That is the question that honorable members should be making, that uh, should be answering themselves before they vote today, later today, honorable speaker. Honorable speaker, the late governor, Deritu Gashagwa, passed on on 24th of February, 2017. Between 2017, honorable speaker, to 2024, it is indeed true that the late governor then, amongst uh, Mwai Madenge and Jeroge, he appointed, he entrusted Mr. Rigadi, the deputy president, as the executor of his will. But, Honorable Speaker, between 2017 and 2024, the property that, and this is, Honorable Speaker, is in the documents that uh, Mwengi Mutusa has shared, Honorable Mwengi Mutusa has shared with us uh, and tabled in this house, that between 2017 and 2024, he's been able to alter or tamper with those companies make himself directors in some of those companies, transfer some of those properties to himself, disinherit the some of the beneficiaries, the kids of the late, and put them to himself. And then one particular case, Honorable Speaker, is the Olive Garden Realtors, Honorable Speaker, that was actually uh, altered on 2nd of March, 2022, using the position of power to his own advantage, Honorable Speaker. How can you explain that? He will then tell you, Honorable Speaker, that you know I bought its willing buyer, willing seller. Really? Does it mean that all your money that you've acquired, which is also questionable, the only property that you could identify is the property that is under the care or is supposed to, to, to help the family and the widows of, the late, of your late brother? How wicked can we be? Then you come in full glare of camera and tell the members of the public, that please let my brother rest in peace. I decided to hold this property in trust for them. When the brother, the kids, the widows, and the daughters and sons of the late are languishing in poverty and complaining and crying, it is total shame. You, you, you cannot use your position for that. Honorable Speaker, these are practical examples. And I'm telling my honorable members to acquit themselves and go through uh, ground seven, honorable speaker. It is actually on page 16 to 30. This is this is nothing but gross violation of the law, Honorable Speaker, taking advantage of their own power, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, and you know, even to prove that, you will realize that those companies, by the time the companies were being, some of them were being registered, the new ones, and the time the, 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 the transfer of these properties were taking place, Honorable Speaker, the whole thing is actually contemporaneous. You need not to be a rocket scientist to know that clearly this is fraud and this is a... Uh, um, um, this was taking advantage of the, the, of the late. I want to invite, to, I want to remind the Honorable Deputy President of the good book in the book of uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 25, that the Lord will tear, that's what the Bible says, that the Lord will, will, will tear down the house of the proud, but he will establish the boundary of the widow. That is why we are here today. If there is no other reason that has brought us here, Honorable Speaker, it is to protect the family that is being disinherited of their property under coercion, blackmail, and threats. If there is no other reason, Honorable Speaker, 
And that is why Honorable Speaker, even it, it's actually biblical again. In the good book, Honorable Speaker, of, uh, the book of Exodus 22, 22, that do not take advantage of the widow. Do not take advantage of the fatherless. If you do, and they cry to me, I will certainly hear their cry. And my anger will be aroused, and I will kill you with the sword. Today, we are using the sword, today here, to protect, and it is biblical, it is religious. Today, we are using the sword to impeach you, just to protect the children that are suffering, that you threatened, that you blackmailed, that you told that if you dare speak, if you dare speak or utter a word, I am the deputy president of Kenya, elected by 7.2 million people. I will finish you. Finish who? We will finish you today in this floor of the house. Honorable Speaker, I mean, it, it, there, is, there is nothing more for me, Honorable Speaker, on this matter. There is nothing more than capitalism. I mean, really, like you are left under the care of the properties of your brother. Then you take them to your advantage. You are immediate brother. Then on TV you tell us that you know in the will my brother gave me and then he gave my wife, then he gave my sons. Where, what about his children? What about his widows? What about his sons? What about How proudly can you say that you are only enjoying the property of your brother? For that reason alone, Honorable Speaker, we say Gashagwa must go. If there is no other reason, today Gashagwa must go. Honorable Speaker, I relate this case with the case of, uh, I relate this matter, Honorable Speaker, with the Sp uh, Spelunian Explorers case, Honorable Speaker, where the members... Yes, uh, Kipchumba. Timothy Kipchumba. Honorable Speaker, I rise past one to standing order number 91 on the issue of statement of facts. Honorable Speaker, is it in order for the Honorable Soro to claim that the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa disinherited the wife of the late brother. Honorable Speaker, can you table the facts before this house that it is inherited? Oh, Honorable Order, Honorable Kipchumba, Order, Order Osoro, Honorable Kipchumba, those are the facts that the move of the motion placed on the table. It appears you probably were not in the house then. Finish up, Osoro. Honorable Speaker, I will refer the Honorable Member to pages 16 to 30 of this very motion that was tabled in this House, Honorable Speaker. And these are facts. And I've also said that, Honorable Speaker, on this particular matter, the threshold is on the two-thirds, and we're also working on the balance of probability. We are looking at this matter on how the facts relate or place themselves on the table from the transfer of the properties and also the registration of the companies. I mean, it is clear the facts are contemporaneous. Don't Nobody, be. unless you don't need to be a rocket scientist to identify this whole thing, Honorable Speaker. And that is why, Honorable Speaker, for this reason, for this very reason, Honorable Speaker, I want to say that I support the impeachment. Please, let's make it early. Even if it's at six, the Gashagwa must go. TJ Kajwang will be the last for the morning. Uh, Mr. Speaker, just confirm 